Hi, this is Mike Regan with Transact's Two Minute Warning for the week of November 13th. I've got an important question for you. When does 4.9% equal 7, 8, 9, or even 10%? Recently, UPS announced that they'd be taking a general rate increase effective December 24th, 2017. Now, in their announcement, UPS highlighted the fact that on average, this increase would be 4.9%. Now, when I heard those words, I couldn't help but think, you know, if I have a foot in a bucket of scalding hot water and a foot in a bucket of ice cold water, on average, I'm pretty uncomfortable. And what this means for shippers is that when you take a look at the actual impact of these increases, it could very well be much higher than 4.9%. And that's one of the reasons I encourage shippers to take advantage of tools like our parcel reporting toolbox. When we load in your activity and load in the proposed contract changes, we can see exactly how this increase will impact your freight budgets based on 2017 activity. Let me give you some things that we've seen as a result of these analysis. First, they're changing the dimensional weight divisor for small packages measuring less than one cubic foot. In going from 166 to 139, this could mean that shippers will see significant increases well above the 4.9% for packages in this category. Now, the large package surcharge is also going to be increased increased on a two-step basis. On December 24th, it's going to go to $80, and on July 8th, 2018, it's going to go to $90. Overall, this is an increase of 28.6%. The additional handling charge is also going to get hit with a two-step increase. It's going to go up to $12 on the 24th of December, and on July 8th, it's going to go up to $19. These two increases taken together result in an increase of 75.1%. The one thing that also really got our attention, though, is what they're doing with the over maximum limits surcharge. That's going to go from $150 to $500, which is an increase of 233%. Folks, these are just the highlights that we've gleaned from an analysis of the rate increase. If you'd like to learn more about how these changes, as well as the other changes that UPS and FedEx have proposed, if you'd like to learn more how this is going to impact your freight budget and potentially cause you to make changes in sales or purchasing decisions, what you need to do is send us an email or give me a call and ask us about our parcel reporting toolbox. What we do is we load in these changes, and then we take your activity for 2017, run it through, and say, here is the potential financial impact you would experience in 2018 based on 2017 activity. It's dynamite, and we make it available to you because with each and every two-minute warning, we are here to remind you we are on your team, we are here to help, and we're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time. Boom! <laughs>